Well, mycosis fungoides and uh, Caesare syndrome are two sides of a coin. Uh, we are talking about the same disease, uh, malignancy of mature and prime uh, T cells, primarily T helper cells um, that home in the skin. That's why they are cutaneous lymphomas. The initial presentation tends to be, not always, but tends to be in the skin. But due to um, uh, some uh, molecular differences between uh, mycosis fungoides and Caesare syndrome, one of them, uh, my MF or mycosis fungoides, is mostly localized to the skin versus a Caesare syndrome or the leukemic variant which, uh, although it presents with uh, uh, redness of the skin, what we call erythroderma, there is also a blood component uh, from the inception. So that's the main difference. Caesare syndrome defined as the leukemic variant of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma versus mycosis fungoides, the primary cutaneous presentation. So even though we have two distinct entities, there is some overlap. So we have patients who early on are diagnosed with mycosis fungoides. They may have just a few patches of redness in the skin. We do a biopsy. The biopsy is consistent with mycosis fungoides. The patients may have a simple uh, um, blood count, a CBC uh, with a negative results or not even have a CBC and the patients carry a diagnosis of mycosis fungoides. And over time, the patients may become red from head to toe or erythrodermic. And over time, the patients may develop blood involvement and adenopathy. Um, so this, uh, this uh, distinction between those two entities and this, those areas of overlap uh, are important to keep in mind.